Hey there folks, Rel here, welcome back to another episode of Uncut. Playing through the game right now, it's Double Experience Weekend, we're Vanu on, <coughs> Vanu on Emerald server, let's see. So you can see this beautiful 310% uh, experience. And we'll just, we'll just see, we'll just see what happens. Uh, Uncut is a series dedicated to playing through the game and just kind of talking through and, and sharing my thoughts as we go through. Also, I have the settings up maybe a little bit higher than I normally do for the sake of making things pretty. Shadows are off. Shadows you can get away with, uh, like even if you want a good looking game, you can get away with turning them off at night. Because it's still looks good. Like there's, it looks like there's shadows, right? And that's because the, uh, some of the terrain is, has like vertex paint on it which is one of the the most inexpensive things we can do to change the the color of... So like when you look at the... This is just terrain design. But if you look at the ground... Oh, 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 hold on. I don't think I'll be able to get that. That's a tree. I thought it was a turret. Okay. Maybe not. Well, so if you look at the ground, you see these darker lines. That's vertex paint. It's not like we're not using uh, a darker tile set on this in particular. This is all just a road. It's a road tile set. And then we have vertex paint on the top. And when you have uh, actually, this, so I don't know how much of an impact it has, but it's just what I was told, like best practices, that we try to keep uh, terrain to as few layers as possible. Like you'll see up to five, maybe like, uh, so you have like Indar, uh, maybe this is uh, Indar pebbles, or and then Indar red rock, and then Indar, you know, you got some dirt in there, and that sort of thing, or uh, Indar brush, Indar scrubby, or whatever. And it's actually that's probably pebbles. But uh, yeah, when you start to layer them on top of one another, and like this grass is layered on top of dirt, and on top of dirt over here as well, and then you have some pebbles and stuff, and it starts to, I guess it's just expensive. Uh, cost-wise or uh, performance-wise, maybe. It's just what I was told. I don't know how much of an impact it actually has, but again, that was best practices for us. So, and especially I've been getting into the uh, terrain editing a lot more, like uh, a lot of the changes that were made to Amorish, which should be coming out in uh, the next update very soon. Um, I did, and they were just small stuff. Like uh, some of the some of the problem bases. Well, subterranean meta analysis was completely removed. Uh, that was actually Bernas got rid of that one. Uh, then of course Econom was. Uh, man, I'm just gonna hold on. Just gonna deal with this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> no. I get team killed? No, mostly. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've sat in a Howard. Just not getting that uh, prediction down quite right. But yeah, so on Amrish, uh, Econom will be coming out, which is a new pancake-like structure for which you can throw uh, the construction base on top of and also it has a really beautiful interior and the the concept behind it is that you you start from the outside of the vehicles and actually vehicles have some influence over the base as well which is a new concept we're toying with uh, but you also uh, have this really expansive interior so you start out with vehicles and then you move inside and that's it's a planetside one style base where in planetside one you had uh, a lot of bases that uh, had courtyards attached to them. Oh, he's on, he's on the right side. Oh, this is going to be sneaky. Come on, heavy. Um, yeah, so you had uh, these bases that you would fight up to in vehicles, and then you transitioned to infantry because it was completely closed off from uh, completely closed off to... No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat that. Uh, 
completely close it off to vehicles on the inside. And there was uh, hackable doors and like back doors and generators and uh, the thing was like mostly hallways, which isn't super ideal, but uh, they did have a certain concept. I don't know how successful that was. All the videos I see are just fighting in staircases. And that's probably more a problem with uh, third person than it was with... <laughs> uh, than it was with the, the actual base design itself. Maybe. I don't know. Like if you had first person then at least you'd have to peek around and uh, you wouldn't be able to just check around corners. But anyway, Planet Side 1. A, a truly dead game. Currently on test server, TI Allies did get a revamp. Indar is not being pushed this patch. It might get pushed next patch, depending on how we want to to shake it. When we push out a an update with uh, that involves redoing terrain in any capacity, we create really big downloads. And <clears throat> so people asked, uh, If we're saying it about Indar, uh, like, you know, why are you spending time on it and whatever, whatever. And that's weird. And it's really just because we have some problem bases that need to get worked out, but it's not a priority. And since we are there, right, and just making adjustments, like we may as well do other things. So look at uh, Amrish, and Amrish is um, the, the stuff on Indar like we can possibly revert if we wanted to. Econom kind of was not the case. Uh, we weren't going to revert it because it had a concept that we really wanted to try. So, uh, so we needed to get it into like a good place, a good condition. There was performance concerns at the same time we were, uh, like it would have been a net neutral uh, in terms of performance on PC, like if we just left Econ on what it was, uh, but we decided to, to make some of the assets custom, so we spent more time on it. And it got to the point where we were, we were spending a lot of time. Uh, a lot of time on Econom, and it, it was kind of like if we were... On, just a moment. Forgot that the, uh, the text actually shows here. In the middle. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that's Rune. He's a good guy. Um, yeah, so since we decided to spend some more time on Econom instead of just pushing it out, we we gave ourselves, we, we just said like, okay, here's a couple of weeks, what can we do with the, the rest of the terrain since we need to, to push the entire thing anyway. Um, since we're going to be causing the, the big download and we don't want to do those too often. So it's not like we can just put, make a base and then push it live. Uh, so... That's how we got into the whole, uh... I'm not gonna be able to out, uh... Ugh, just want to kill before I die. This, this base, by the way, just this back and forth is notoriously difficult. Um, some changes are being made, but again, it's, it's Indar, and Indar is like a low priority. And that's why TI Allies is just like sitting on test. So maybe it gets pushed next month, maybe it doesn't. But we'll see. Uh, but anyway. Again, so, Amarish. We gave ourselves a time limit and said, you know, this has taken a little bit longer than we want. Uh, when we, since we can't push out, can't push out uh, changes, just one at a time. I mean, there's there's some small stuff we can do. Like we can, you know, if, if there's a bug, we can add, you know, we can put a rock in it. Like uh, a, a rock is an object, so it's not a terrain export. So if there's like a hole in the ground, that's what you see us do for a lot of 
the construction like exploit areas? Is it just like, ah, just throw a rock in it? And we, well, there's just so many people around. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, I, I can't speak and shoot at the same time. Get up. No! Ah. Shouldn't have, so I switched weapons there to try to aim down sights. It was a bad, uh, bad idea because he had hit me, which means that he can see me visibly. Uh, just because I, I, I'm not running cloaking module or the uh, chameleon cloak or whatever whatever it's called, the suit slot, uh, and I'm not running nano armor cloak. So your shield flashes, which makes you uh, visible for follow-up shots, and it's something that you can, I should have just like, you know, ran back and forth and, and got it out of the way. And it would have been very easy to do, but the, uh, the, the weapon swap time and the aim down sights thought that I was gonna be able to, to just take the shots and take them out, but should have played it safe. I okay, see multiple darts on, <laughs> on the tree. It's like, where, where do we put the detection? I don't know, just oh, whatever surface we can we can reach. Okay, so look at the minimap. See all these guys down here? I'm gonna try to keep as much cloak as I possibly can, and you want to to flank them as again as much as possible. There's a infiltrator right behind me. Oh my god! I got hit from the left side too. Man, that was a quick quick bunch of damage from the NS11C. So anyway, uh. Yeah, Amrish, basically what we did is, uh, so Econom, we needed to create new assets, and also on PS4, it would have been a much bigger hit than on PC. On PC, again, it was like net neutral, so we're kind of okay with it, but when we when we took a look at the PS4, uh, break down just the frame rates, it would have, it would have nose-dived it. That's probably not how you, how you should pronounce that, or say that, but, um, it's not grammatically correct. <laughs> but, uh, so we... We definitely wanted to shore it up and also make it look better. So Bill went in, did an entire art pass on the thing, and it just it looks amazing now. So it's something that we can potentially, now that it's um, kind of X amount of pieces, we can more easily use some of those assets for other areas, which is a really cool thing. And when you, whenever you put work uh, lifetime into a feature, you always want to, to try to look ahead to see what you can do, uh, how you can extend that uh, that time and energy Come on. To, to other aspects of, uh, of the game. Attacks! Come on, Infiltrator, what are you doing? You're not gonna back me up? Let's see how it is. Some of these Stalker players are super timid. Especially the, the new players. Oh, I uncloaked right in front of another infiltrator. Trying to do some of that. Some of that action right there, we'll see. Ah, oh, man. Should aim down sight for just a moment. Where is he? Kill him! What the heck? I didn't get that headshot. This guy's shooting randomly. So scared. 
Uh, infiltrators are super nasty. They're they're one of the most solid classes in the game, despite their their hard disadvantage of you know shields, because they they can do everything. Oh man! Except for aim, they can't aim. Yeah, so when you're, you're thinking about features, people, it's, it's funny, but people will get annoyed when they say, or like when you tell them that a bug is not at the top of the priority list. Uh, I mean, and not, like obviously you kind of want to, you want to take care of the, the big ones, the, the gameplay breaking ones. Oh, overheat it, overheat it. Um, you know, stuff that's really impactful, you know, that has, uh, well, just that, a large impact. Meaning that it, it affects multiple players. This guy's, he's gotta be low. Ran past me. Come on. See ya. Stop it! I <laughs> gotcha. Oh no! <laughs> Max behind me. Oh man. This this infiltrator hide and seek is kind of fun. And I was using the phase shift. Phase shift is uh, after the change, and I'm biased. Maybe just a little bit biased, but <laughs> I really like the phase shift. Um, because it's it's a weapon that I mean it's very flexible. It has semi-auto mode. It has infinite ammo. The ability to one-shot headshot and no bullet drop. Uh, it can only fire two shots before overheating uh, with the, the bolt action mode, and that's that's fine. It's not like a, a huge detriment. Also, one of the things is that since you... Ooh. Like, I, I find that I don't need to hold breath with this weapon. Because I can just see... <laughs> I never wanted this name. As soon as your, your crosshair lines up on their head, you just you just press the trigger, and yeah, it's just it feels it feels so much better than it was. Velocity is kind of low, but it shares the velocity with the XM98, so it's not the worst thing. Oh, chase me, chase me! Yeah, just keep chasing me. Ugh. Oh man. No! No! And this guy, this is the second time. Running a compensator and a laser sight. And soft point? No, high velocity ammo. What kind of build is that? I guess the kind that kills me. I like I like the all all purpose builds. I just don't see it all that often. Like, if you stack a compensator on top of your laser sight, or rather a laser sight on top of your compensator, you don't get the full laser sight benefit, obviously, because you still suffer from uh, an increased hip fire, cone of fire. But you do uh, get some of that benefit back. And I think that most players aren't content with, uh, with some, they'd just rather. Revenge. <laughs> They'd rather go for all, right? They want to, to min-max so hard. But it's not the only viable. Viable uh, playstyle is not the only viable loadout. Oh my god. Oh my god. Starting to get light outside, which... <gasps> ah. No! It's starting to get a light outside, which means that my KDR is going to go down. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know if it if it works the same way for everyone, but uh, hiding, right? Like even as an infiltrator, it's much easier to do so, like in the dark. See what I mean about the headshots? It's just ugh, so nasty. No. Nasty, nasty phase shift. So for implants, I'm running battle hardened, which I, I don't need to. I don't care about it so much, but uh, I do like to run enhanced targeting. That way, I can see that if okay, somebody has you know X amount of health, what's their behavior going to be? Are they going to be running because they have low health? Same thing with vehicles. Like you'll know if if. Uh, the light assault that's hanging around is going to be able to bust on a vehicle. Or you'll know if, um... You'll know if an infiltrator, or not infiltrator, just any... Any infantry class is, uh, or like max units, right? If they have low health, then they're more inclined to, to run away, or to play more cautious, or not chase you. And mind games, and just uh, just a general understanding of players' reactions is a uh, it's a good skill to have. Oh, he died. Dun, 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 dun. No! Oh, I'm out of medkits. What are we gonna do now? How could I even play? No! Uh, 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 stop moving! Stop moving! Ah! So okay. I found the medkit truck. Alright, I'm gonna pick up some Yumi. Yumi action. I got the 1X and the CCLR. See clear sight. No! Oh my god! Get wrecked. How dare you? Okay. That was pretty good. I didn't. I enjoyed that. So that's, uh, oh, that's 20, 25 ish minutes for us already. That's where we're going to end it. So hopefully, I mean, I know I didn't talk a lot about, I, I just I just ramble during these things and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find something interesting. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay as well. Actually, you know what? If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. I know that I've not been making a lot of content lately. And uh, a lot of it has to do with just work. I, I really enjoy working. So much so that, like, I'll just... I'll just go in on the weekends and just do stuff, fix bugs, make things. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and I want to thank you all for helping, you know, get me to, to kind of the place that I am, uh, which is to get to work on my favorite game. And it's still my favorite game. It's not the best game. Because that's Witcher 3. It's like, it's like the best game. I will not play it repeatedly. But, but it is <laughs> but this is an amazing game and I love it. Uh, for what five years now. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright, thanks very much folks. We're all signing off. No one. No one would use a knife like this.
there is not a single person that I can think of that would say, oh yeah, you know, you know what I want for my knife? I just want to put like this big uh, yo-yo hockey puck thing on it that'll intimidate my enemies like you wouldn't believe. Actually before it was supposed to be like a switchblade. I think that was the, the intent and then just that just never materialized so now we have hockey puck knife.